like anybody will feel if if here it is, here it is, you doing all the fucking labor, you putting in all the work, and you're not getting your just pay, man. And that's what these heathens is feeling like towards their own brethren. Who, who, who was the confederacy to put us in this place with them, man? As it says so in Psalms, man. In the book of Psalms. I got the... Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I got that precept there, which you quoted. It's like that. Exodus uh, 21 and 16. Right. Uh, it said, and he that stilleth the man, this Exodus 21 and 16, and he that stilleth the man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he should surely be put to death. And that's what's gonna happen, man. Here it is, we in America, we were stolen, man. We were stolen, and we was, we was forced to be here, man. So, hey, the times and now is, uh, is America being put to death, man. Everything that it stands for. Whether you want to call it Rome, whether you want to call it Greek, whether you want to call it Great Babylon, whether you want to call it Sodom and Gomorrah, whether, whatever, whether you want to call it Egypt, this place is going fuck down, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Ba Hashem, man. Uh, brother, um, keep on reading that. Um, Joel. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy uh, mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be weakened. Yeah, they said, assemble yourselves together. Mm -hmm. Where's where's all these nations assembling themselves at? <laughs> Ooh, somebody get that in. Uh... He there. It's going to come out. You talking about the Valley of Joseph at? No, oh, water, bro. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, read that again. It said, waken, not weaken, waken. Uh, mm -hmm. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there I will sit to judge all the heathen round about. That's right. That's in, 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 is that not what's going to happen, man? Is judgment not going to come? You know? It, it, these are the signs of the times, man. You know? Rumors of wars, preach Egypt against e Egyptians against Egyptians, the, uh, the, the, the signs of the times. You know, with the with these with the solar eclipse mm -hmm. that just passed. You know, these are the things that's coming to fruition, man, through the scriptures, man. And this should be a good cheer to brothers that's actually out here putting in this work, man. Because you know what? This is this is our life, man. This is our livelihood, man. And brothers should be brothers that's really in this thing and sincerely in this thing. We rejoicing right now, man. This is a, this is a time. This is a time for for, uh, for for lamentation because we don't know what our fate may be. But it's also a time for rejoicing because this this place is almost fucking over with, man. Somebody this, get Matthew 24 and 4. Our kingdom is almost here, man. You know. 24 start at 4 and just read. We, we we almost out of this fucking place, man. Destruction is coming to America at a rapid pace, man. Here it is. We got the Civil War happening. We got. We got, we got fucking, uh... Folly. Yeah. God, put that nigga to death. You heard about shit out shot right on top, man. See, this nigga's like him, man. This nigga's like him that's gonna be in them concentration camps. They gonna be trying to wear some Israelite men in there. And when that family of the world happens, they gonna be niggas like him searching for the sin of the Lord, man. His ass gonna be up in that bitch. Starved out. Eating this fucking leather tax to take away. Eating that, eating that fucking leather jacket that he wear, man. Hungry as hell. Hey, Starving. hey, real quick. Hey, the brother said they go. He gonna be eating that leather jacket. And they actually did that in uh, I believe that was World War One. They called it uh, over there when they when they was starving their ass out over there. They was boiling yeah, we did jelly, jelly, jelly something. Yeah, we did it. We did it in uh, Mount Masada. You know, eating the leather. The leather is actually contributed to meat. Mm -hmm. But you know, once you died and do all them chemicals in it, man, it's not edible no more. But shit, in starvation, bro, you gonna fucking be doing that. You gonna be doing some wild shit, man. You gonna be that back. You gonna eat your children, man. Birds dung went for a certain amount, yeah. Yeah. and a donkey's head, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. went for yeah. a certain yeah. amount, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. unlawful, or some yeah. unlawful it's gonna be, shit. It's going to be actually rationed out, man. Whatever that you have, man. You might have I mean, because trade is going to keep going on. You might have motherfucker catching racks. You got smoke racks right there. Yeah. And we got racks. You want to trade this for this? I mean, everything is going to grow. If it's edible, motherfuckers is going to try to. going to be trying to eat, man. Yeah. Yeah.
And this is, yeah. this is this is the reason why this kingdom must be destroyed, man. And our kingdom have to be established because only then will righteousness be established, man. You know what I'm saying? This this place is fucking polluted, man. Beyond beyond your fucking imagination. There's things that's happening that we don't even see. Hey, that we don't even see. Hey, niggas gonna be selling their kids to be eaten, man. That's right. They they're, gonna be, they're gonna be trading their kids to be eaten, man. You know? Hey, 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 take hey, take take little Johnny. And, and let me have some water. You know? I just want I just want I just want one cup full of water. And you can have my youngest. You know, and they gonna have no remorse. Hey, people are already desensitized, you know. They already desensitized to the care of their little their little ones. So hey man, that in that time man, shit. Little 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 Bo Peep, man, go go fuck he gonna go for for a cup full of water, man. You know what I'm saying? She gonna be advertising his ass like the white man was doing us in slavery. Look at him, he's healthy, he's strong, <laughs> he's got muscles. That's a lot of meat. They can last you for a week. It's gonna be their fucking son, man. Hey, the scripture says, born to them that shall give suck in that day, man. Cause that's what's gonna be going on. People selling and trading their kids, willing and dealing and shit, cause they don't wanna eat their own kids, so they gonna get their kids somebody else to eat, and then they gonna find somebody else's kids. Yes, to they eat. gonna eat their own kids too. That, that cool. See, that's that's gonna happen too. But bring it out, bro. Uh, this is Lamentations, chapter four, verse nine. It says, "They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger." Why? Go ahead. It says, "For these pine away, stricken through what, stricken for." Uh, for what of fruits of the field? Because the sword is a quick death, man. The sword is you getting the fuck up out of here. But that famine, that starvation, that's slow and torture. That's hunger pains. And you know who gonna be getting that? All you fucking proud, haughty demons. All you motherfuckers that be like, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Everybody gotta die someday. All you niggas that had that mindset. All you I don't give a fuck, niggas, man. That's gonna be your ass out there pining away, man. <sighs> You know, all you people that didn't consider, all the, hey man, nigga, I'm making money, nigga, I got bank. All you niggas that thought because you had a Benz or, or a Mercedes or, or, or BMW, or, you know what I'm saying, or, or brand new F-150 thought you made it, man. <laughs> then your ass gonna pine away, man. Your ass gonna be out there starving, man. Yeah, man, shit. Hey, hey motherfucker, they gonna be boiling leather, boiling the diet of the leather. Leather evening, rolling that shit up like a taco, man. Hey, chewing on that shit like jerky. <laughs> I got a precept on this. Uh, this Revelation 9. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, okay. Uh, this Revelation uh, 9 and 6. And those days shall men seek death and shall not find it. Mm. And shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. That's not the World War One. World War One, when they knew how to try to kill them. Some people, some soldiers tried to kill themselves. They were being tortured so hard. But now that's gonna come back into play, man. Hey, I experienced that, man. Like, man, I actually seen people. I seen the guy, guy, um, shit, got the. Uh, they was riding in a Humvee, and the, and the guy, uh, um, the, the Humvee got hit by a damn landmine. The landmine, the landmine blew the goddamn, uh, uh, blew the. Uh, uh, the front of the fucking truck off, and the guy that was in the back, he got his legs, he got his, all his penis, all his sodden, sodden shit, man. And he lost, he lost all his, all his organs, man. All his, you know what I'm saying? He lost his, his John, basically, man. And the motherfucker was in the hospital talking about, he killed me. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got one atropine shot. Give me, hey, give me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, 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 give me, give me, give me, uh. Give me my atropine shot and give me your atropine shot. You know? I'm trying to overdose off atropine, man. You know? Because he didn't want to go home to his wife and he ain't got no ride. Because, you know, you, go home, you, go, you come home to a woman, an American woman, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no rod. She gonna be fucking all kind of motherfuckers. You ain't got no legs to go and see what she doing. She gonna be fucking all kind of niggas, man. She gonna be doing dicks, you know? Cause I seen that, man. Like, guys, you know, grow, grab me in the hospital. They be like, come here, come here, I wanna tell you something. And then when you when you lean down, they'll say, kill me, man. 
Kill me. I'm suffering. I'm hurting. Forrest Gump. And uh, look. Yeah, Lieutenant Dan asked Forrest. But I was going to say real quick. I read a book called Johnny Got His Gun by Dalton Trumbo. It's like a, it's on World War I, right? This fucking guy had everything blown up off of him. He was just basically a torso and his face was even gone. He couldn't communicate, but he knew Morse code. So one day a doctor went in there and tapped Morse code on his head and he responded by nodding his head on the thing. So you know, you back to the scripture, you know he was seeking death. Yeah, man, you know how you got a lot of war veterans, man. You know, uh, they get tortured, man. Like fucking stabbed in the face, you know, fucking ears cut off, nose cut off, man. They want to really seek death, man. You know, yeah. that's gonna come a big part, uh, part, uh, part in America, man. Hey, you know? it was a 13, it was a 13 year old. I mean, it was a, it was a 13 year old. He was trapped in a toddler's body, and he was doing a hand gesture, like kill him. He was doing, he was doing like this, doing this, man, doing like this. Hmm? Hmm? This is what I want. This is a gun. And putting it to his face, and I made a, I made a uh, meme out of it. The, the dude was putting a fucking gun to his, like he was putting a gun to Then his mother, the fucking Edomite, man, the pride of a fucking woman, man. Oh, that's showing you he happy. I'm like, it look like, it look like he got to trying to blow his brains out. And then, like, three minutes in, he trying to fucking choke himself, trying to stick his fingers <laughs> down his throat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this, I'm uh, a video, bro. This, this is Revelations uh, 9 and 6. He said, he said, and though, yeah, that's so uh, God, uh, this is uh, Revelations 9 and 6. He said, and in those days, men, uh, shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from him, flee from them. Right, so you got a lot of people trying to, because trying, you won't, because death is like a, a, a quick expect, a, a quick way out, man. You won't hide. You won't hide that way out, man. Cause hey, get Ecclesiastes y'all, y'all always y'all to, to suffer, man. You know he wants. He wants to laugh at your fucking calamity, man. What? Yes, sir. No, because uh, that goes back to Ecclesiastes twelve and seven. When you die, what? Well, and then Job too. Uh, with Job, the, what's that? The third chapter. When you die, it's over with. It's over with, right? No it's more trans- suffering. Just, just, no more. Yeah. yeah, just a transition, man. That's why, hey, man, that's a cut too on motherfuckers when, when people get sick at a hospital. You be up there praying, praying the Lord don't take them. They be looking. They probably sitting there in the spirit world, you know, halfway in the spirit world, halfway out, like motherfucker, <laughs> fuck out of here. Friend, I'm the one suffering. <laughs> you praying for me to stay here and shit. <laughs> they, they over with, man. You see, the motherfuckers be sitting there with tubes all in them, fucked all up. Yep. And you got motherfuckers praying for you to stay here, man. You like, man, man, look, nigga, get your, hey, Lord, get his ass out the room. They be hey, fucking go. Hey, here go the video, little dude. He's 13 year old. He trapped in the toddler's body. Look, look at his hand gesture. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> <laughs> you get it on camera? <laughs> it don't show real good. Let me see if I can zoom. <laughs> can you get it? It's like a glare. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. There you go. Look, look. Please, please. Look, look. Look at that ass. Like, look, look, I'm going to rewind it back a little bit. Look. <laughs> he he looks about 40. Bro, he asking for the motherfuckers to kill him, man. You can't see it. Yeah, you can see it, bro. You can see it. Look, gun, bang, 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 bang. Look, he gonna do it again. Bang, bang. Like kill me. Me, me. Bro, so so like, you know what I'm saying? So like, these people, man. These people going through all these. Can you imagine these motherfuckers in these nursing homes, man? Hey, down there in Texas, they had a house full of, a, a nursing home full of old people. When the storm hit, the, the motherfucking staff just ran off and left the old people in there. They they in there wading in the water and shit, man. <laughs> man bro, I saw the bitch sitting in a recliner chair. She, her whole lap underwater. She, she climbed back like, Lord, I'm coming with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She made a rap. The water all dirty and shit. <laughs> They, they in there waiting in the water, man. The whole staff just said, fuck that, hurricane, bye. So these people, man, bro, it's gonna be cold, man. Like, these motherfuckers gonna be cold, 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 cold. You know what I'm saying? All, all the fucking humanity and morals, that shit gonna go out the fucking window, man. So you gonna have to the Bucko experiment. Yeah, man, hell yeah. I got a free side. Hey. Oh, sit down. Go ahead, go ahead. Bring that scripture. Uh, this uh Matthew 24 and uh 
center. Or do you want me to you, might, you might as well just start from four and just go on up. Right. Yeah. Uh, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, okay. and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And uh, I'm saying that that's what's happening now. You know what I'm saying? You got rumors of wars, but you also got like real actual wars, man. Like you, you even got a, a, a race war that's about to start up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and then on top of the war that's happening over there in the Middle East. You know, it, it's just so many wars that's just coming about. And it's going to hit real hard, man. And then it says, uh, uh, verse 7, For a nation shall rise against nation, which is right now, and kingdom against kingdom, and there should be famines and pestilence, pestilences and earthquakes and uh, di uh, diverse, uh, diverse places. All... Yeah, yeah, diverse, diverse places. So that fam, uh, not only the famine of the word is going to come, but also a real actual famine when it comes to food with all the natural disasters that's going on, man, that uh, this, these famines are going to hit, man. And then you got diseases out there, earthquakes. I think I was, uh, I was getting an oil change, and I was just seeing something on TV, and it was saying about Oklahoma, having over 900 earthquakes mm. and within one, I think it was one year. You know what I'm saying? It was just uh, over 900 earthquakes. I was like, God damn. And then it's like, the thing is, you're supposed to have oil in the earth. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lubrication for the right. earth. That's right. When you take that shit out, you get all these motherfucking trembles and earthquakes and stuff, man. That's right. That's not, not supposed to happen. Like I uh, like the scripture said, man, the devil will come to kill, steal, and destroy, man. And this destroying this earth also. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. Happy too, right? So the and that's going back to the spirit, man, because like they said, it said the same thing. And I said chapter 19, verse 2. You know what I'm saying? Nations against nation, kingdoms against kingdoms. Here it is, we all know that we the children uh, of the most high, man. He's heathen. They gonna be going to war with each other, man. They gonna be, it's gonna be survival of the fittest. Second Andrew 16. <clears throat> it's like it. Second Andrew 16. Um, I started 14. Damn. I'm gonna start at. I'm gonna start at 12. Shit. I'm gonna start at 10. <laughs> Second Andrew 16 and 10. It says, "Behold, my people was led as a flock to the slaughter." I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt. And you, you see that now, the Lord visiting, man. We The brothers read Joel 3. It said, uh, the Lord gathering them in the valley of the host of fat. Why? For his heritage, for his inheritance for, for Israel. Roughly paraphrasing, right? It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. And Egypt is this place, you know, America, right? It says, <clears throat> They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hail and with a fearful constellation. It goes into that famine that the brothers were speaking about, man. Because if the seeds fail, what? Nothing is growing. There's nothing being produced, right? <coughs> it says, whoa. So I get by my ad, because when you go into that word blasting, <laughs> it, mean, it goes into the crops feather. Now the Lord put that up. That you, basically what's happening now is the curses that the Lord put on us is being uplifted and we, we, we witnessing a transition. Because the Lord, that's one of the curses on us, that uh, your crops shall, uh, shall go through the blasting. But now the Lord said that shit, gonna, not Egypt gonna do that. So the curses ain't fully on this devil yet. They not gonna be, you know, twofold like the scripture say, render unto him double until we in the kingdom of heaven. But you see that transition. Well, yeah, but that's the template of Egypt. Because when we was in Egypt, what was one of the plagues? The Lord killed all the crop, all the cattle. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So before the, our curses that's upon us get transferred to them, this Egypt got to go through those ten plagues that's again, right. man. Right. You see? Yep. And, that's, and, that's, and that's what we see building up. That's right. Damn, that's Because those, those, those curses are going to be fully uh, uh, transferred over to them in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. That, that cup of trembling, yeah. you know? Yeah. They showed it in uh, 12 years of slave. Uh, uh, on doing these crops, 
was eating my calipers. What he say? He said this is a play from God. You know, so, he, so he knew that you know his crops been eating up all my calipers. He, he knew that was a plague, man. You know, and that's gonna come back today. You know, and that's going and that's going to introduce the family. You know. In the beginning, it, 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 it,